Here's something I found that was quite useful. Um, we will use the Bollinger Band squeeze um, method and the fractal analysis of the indicators trend, Bollinger Band. Okay. Now, what we're looking for are squeezes on the Bollinger Band. So there's one there. You can colour it in better shapes, rectangles. See how often they occur. There's quite a large one there. Shapes. Okay, so indicators, Bill Williams, fractals. Right, let's zoom in. So when a Bollinger Band squeeze occurs and a fractal appears above, that would be your cell signal. And when there's a Bollinger Band squeeze and a fractal appears below, that's your buy signal. We'll go back and see if there's more. There's a squeeze here. And it's uh, shapes. Tangle. See. Bye. We'll go back. This is the hourly chart. Squeeze here. But there wasn't a fractal below, so we wouldn't have traded that. See, there was one there, but we have to remember the trend of the pound in on a higher time, time frame. We'll go to the insert indicators trend, even average. So we are looking negative. So we have to bear that in mind. We wouldn't necessarily ever buy in a downtrend. So that's what we have to remember. So we'd um, always sell the rallies and not necessarily buy the dips. And um, the Bollinger Band median line can be used for a crossover too. So we see there we could have sold at that point when the median Bollinger Band squeeze came down so we're looking for more squeezes. There's one here. We knew it was a descended moving average line. And there was a fractal above, another fractal above, down. One nearly there. Again, so. I mean, we could have bought this, but we have to remember the prevailing trend. So that would have been a good trade but slightly risky. And then we would have sold up there again whenever the fractal appears above the Bollinger Band. Um, works also quite well on H4. Um, sell, sell, sell. That would have been a good one too. And ignored that because we know the downtrend we wouldn't have bought there. Likewise, we wouldn't have bought this. Nor would we, well, we could have done, but we have to remember the downtrend. And again, sell. So it really helps knowing the moving average line before you take any trade. Use the 200 day, and that tells you a high level, which way price is going to go. Um, that covers the Bollinger Band squeeze and fractal and moving average analysis. So don't buy the dips, sell the rallies when the moving average is pointing down. So all of these trades would have been really good trades to take. And yeah, that's it really. Um, yeah, good luck again and cheers.